Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl, Moya Babalala, back here again. And today, the girl isn't looking snatched. She's looking really rough. Uh, I know some people have been like, Where have you been? Where are you? What's going on with your life? Where are you? Well, I'm back now. And I have been really busy this past week. I've been trying to get my life together. Because if you didn't notice, my life's a mess. But, yeah, so... I'm here now and I'm doing, as you can't see, I'm doing a Q&A. So I told some of my friends to send some questions. And so basically I'll just be answering them. And yeah, let's just get right into the video. So the first question is, why did you start YouTube? Well, because I was born. <laughs> I've always wanted to do YouTube for a long time, but like, I never got the time to sit down and actually focus on YouTube. It was a long thinking process before the actual YouTube came up and everything. Next question, are you single? <laughs> Your girl is living her life. I am not seeing anybody right now in my life. I'm completely fine. Okay. Who needs boys? Next question. What is the worst thing you have ever done? Hmm. The worst thing I've ever done is probably cheat. Cheat like on an exam. I feel like that's the worst thing I've ever done. I'm a pretty good person. That was like a long time ago, maybe in secondary school or something. I don't cheat anymore. Please, I do not cheat anymore. So, yeah. Okay. Another question says, how are you able to cope and handle it after your video went viral it was dumb it was really dumb because i was talking about i wasn't myself in that video i feel like i was trying so hard to get noticed one eternity later i remember how i used to cry because i felt very and then yes i made a mistake but like one thing is that people should not bully people online just because of stupid ass stupid mistakes do not cyber bully anybody i was cyber bullied for a long time for at least a whole month well it took a while but i got back up because you can keep pushing me down but i'm going to keep standing up and that's just how it is we overcame everything because i cannot go and kill myself because i made a mistake and that's just the truth we're gonna make money from this youtube so if you're watching and you're like why is girl you still doing youtube thank you for watching thank next you next question what school do you go to i'm in convenant university okay i'm in convenant university covenant so people keep saying convenant convenant i'm in covenant university and i'm in my second year in Covenant University. <laughs> Hi, Nisi. You thought I was like young and stuff. Next question. How old are you? I'm going to be 17 in September. You don't know what you're going on. You don't know. Yes. So, you guys, I'm so excited about my birthday and stuff because I'm turning 17. I'm not more doing sweet 16 up and down. I'm now doing on point 17. I'm finding out we're doing legal 18. I'm finding out we're doing on point 19. And then you know what? Turning up for 20, girl. What is your biggest fear? <laughs> I have a lot of fears. A lot. Fear of failure. Fear of losing my loved ones. But my biggest fear is just not making it. That's my biggest fear. But I will because... Your girl is working hard and she's going to succeed, so... What are you studying and what do you want to become when you grow up? I'm studying mass communication. I already mentioned my school, so... I'm studying mass communication or mass com, for sure. And I want to be on TV. Like... <laughs> your girl is making moves. <laughs> your girl is making moves. Uh. Be on TV. Like, professionally, I really want to be on TV. I want to be an oap one day a tv host probably get my own show get my own network get my own channel i want to do when i grow up is be happy most especially i really want to be happy whatever i'm doing whether i don't even end up doing what i really want to do but the most important things that as long as god is on my side i just want to be happy are you an only child no 
No. Do you? I didn't even on my YouTube. But I did a, like a video with my sister. Like, I don't know. Check it out. It was really funny. I'm not an only child, actually. So I'm the firstborn. Many people don't know that about me. I'm the firstborn. How do you handle your insecurities? Well, everybody has insecurities. That's one thing I can't say. Everybody's insecure about one thing or the other. Everybody thinks that. There's, there's just one thing that's just on everybody's mind that they're insecure about I also have insecurities too and how I deal with them well I'm insecure about a lot of stuff first of all because I'm the queen of it my friends know I'm the queen of insecurities because I'm insecure about practically everything in my life I started getting people that accept me with my insecurities accept me with my faults accept me with my all my behaviors and mood swings and everything so i think like the, the best way to just deal with your securities is surround yourself with positive people surround yourself with people that accept you for who you are no matter how or what you do or how you look or how you appear or whatever you are doing first things first things first is just surround yourself with positive people and god has given you these things because of a reason so you can't change these things because you feel like people will not accept you for it eventually eventually you're going to find some people and you're obviously going to find somebody or some people that are going to accept you with all these insecurities and qualities what haunts you in the past that you forever regret what haunts you what what haunts you in? i don't know i don't i don't like to re think of things like i regret them i did them at that point because i felt that they were right everything happens for a reason and i can't be like oh god doesn't know what he's doing for him to let that happen to me so everything that happens i can't just say i agree them okay another question says favorite thing you like doing hmm first things first i like eating i like eating <laughs> i like doing a lot of stuff i like eating first things first I like talking to people, meeting new people. I'm not a going out person per se. Like I'm not like that kind of person that goes out all the time. I have a pretty boring life, so <laughs> anyway, my favorite I, I feel like my favorite thing I like doing is listening to music because I'm a I'm a music person. Like every single time I'm always listening to music. Somebody asked me, what's the worst thing you've done for love? For love. No, no. First thing I've done for love. Why will I do anything? <laughs> Nadem de Rochus. <laughs> I'm joking. Another person asked. Okay, another video similar to what I've answered. Another question similar to what I've answered before. After your viral video, how was your life? Well, pretty okay i feel like most of the people that by insulted me now <laughs> they're in my dms begging me for forgiveness honey <laughs> so my life was not so great but i thank god for where i am today because it was actually only through god that i could have gone through that whole situation and i would have not been depressed till now okay so another person asked me if you had the opportunity to change your school would you do it <laughs> if you want to put me inside trouble no my school might be tough I'm just going to say tough on us but i feel like the main reason why they are being tough on us is just to raise very good people and to produce really good and strong characters into society because i've met some really great people in my school some people who have helped me a lot if i had the opportunity to change my school to another school abroad London, US Lord Jesus, why not? I will go I'm just thinking of how I will finish school then get a way to leave Nigeria and then go to another country Don't get me wrong, I love Nigeria, for real But like, I want to make it here I also make it internationally Do you get? That's my own point So if I had a chance to leave my current school now to go abroad you know, but if I had a chance to leave my current school now to another, any other school in Nigeria, I don't think I would accept the offer. Okay, my last question because I'm stressed. A lot of you sent me some questions that 
<laughs> anyway, my last question are you a snob? not a snob i am not a snob i have been getting this a lot that i snob a lot don't say what you don't know if i see you are texting me and you really want to talk to me and it's really urgent i will reply you and just a fact and i'm sorry if i'm actually going out and doing something with my life and not replying your message i'm sorry next time i will just sit at home on my data and be replying all the messages <laughs> you don't know if you want to call me call me call me call me okay guys so that's the end of my video i know i didn't answer a lot of questions but i did i don't know if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up or comment down below on what you think on any of the answers i gave out or if there are some other questions you want to ask me you can just dm me through my socials i'll be leaving at the end of the video or description box below share share so they can see how interesting and boring i am i'll see you guys in my next video and signing out from your favorite girl bye